If a person uses sewak or toothbrush, toothpaste, toothpaste, all of that is fine as long as nothing goes down into one's stomach. But sewak, of course, is the best. Because the hadith that clearly proves that the Prophet ﷺ would use sewak while fasting. So uh, when some said it's better to avoid the sewak, there's no authenticity to, to it. Actually, the opposite is there. Uh, and to use the sewak and not to intentionally, for example, swallow anything, but to use the sewak, this is part of the sunnah during fasting. And the reason why a person would use the sewak, one of which is to change the smell of his mouth. So to change the smell of the mouth is okay. And actually, it's a good thing to be done in the month of uh, when a person is fasting. And it's not like I'm going against to what it's purer to leave it that way. No, it's good to make it uh, smell nice. But even if you try to do this, it will still, it's not the same as when you're not fasting. Because khuluf iri is, is the taghayur, is the change. So the change will continue to be there. So even if you use the sewak, the change is still there, so the word is still the same.